sorry about the unexplained riding footage, but I didn't film anything before I left, so that's what you get. But anyway, oh there he is. I was stuck behind that truck for a while. Yeah. I've already been here, I parked, got all my, my gear off, looked at my phone for a little bit, and then started recording. And then that guy came by. It's been a couple minutes, but I mean, I only passed him a couple miles down the road. But anyway, I'm here at the closed Berryessa Corners. Uh, it's on a ride. I'm going to go down Highway 128. Uh, wind. I'm going to go down Highway 128 and hopefully find some caches out there and then take the long way home. So, it'd be cool. Yep. So I'm here at the first cache site. Pretty cool view of the lake over there. And some hills. Be cool if it was in 3D, but it's not. It's just 2D. You don't really get the the depth of the hills. It's, it's really cool looking out here. I don't know if you can see there's a guy kayaking. Try and zoom in on him. Anyway, remember what I was saying about people, how they like to park right where caches are? Yeah, there's somebody there. So I gotta wait. Or I'll just look for it anyway. I'm not sure where it is though. It might be down here. That's why the terrain is a higher level because it's kind of a steep trail. Let's check it out. He's going quick. He's gonna come by right here, isn't he? Let's see if he comes around. There he is. All right, anyway, let's continue looking. Except I think this is taking me, well, now it's about down here. Might be in one of these bushes. Actually, this is poison oak, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think it would be very nice to hide it in a poison oak plant. That would not be nice. Is it under this log? This is what I was first drawn to when I first saw down here. I don't see anything in there. Anyway, I'll keep looking though. Cool area.
Monticello Dam. It's quite big. You can see down there. There's a chain link fence here, but the lake's over there. One of the caches I'm gonna go to, I think, is on the top of that hill over there. So I'm gonna head up. I right, I've parked the bike there. Use the helmet lock for my helmet and jacket. Hopefully it's still there when I get back. And I'm going up this trail. And oh, I'm gonna get through with all my stuff. Okay. It says 0.3 miles. Now, one guy said he took the wrong trail. I don't know if he meant this one or this one is the wrong trail. So I'm going to consult the recent logs. Decided to explore the right fork first. Mistake. Had to take the hard way up, of course. So this way, the right way was a mistake. So he said to the left. So hopefully he's correct. Because on my map, it only shows a trail to the left. This one is unmarked. So here we go. Okay, good. It is working still. I just tried to record a clip, and my camera was saying card error. That's not a good sign. Anyway, it's about 3 o'clock when I started. I mean, I've only gone that far, and you can still see the gate. 3 o'clock. Let's go. You guys said it's 800 feet elevation gain in uh, less than half a mile, which is a lot. So. Anyway, I'd rather right. Let's go up this hill, huh? Let's climb up this hill. Hey, it's that guy in the little yellow bike. Little two-stroke thing. It's really cool. There he goes. Ah, man. It's only been, what? What time is it now? 3.07. It was actually 3.04 when I recorded that first clip. It's been three minutes. <sighs> I'm tired. But look how much higher I am already. Like, the trail where I started is way down low. You can see that whole road and then that huge hill over there. This is just, I don't know. The camera never really captures how big it actually is. You know what I mean? This is crazy. There's another cache way up there. I don't think I'll go for it today. I'm going up this hill instead, which is equally crazy. Anyway, let's continue. It's a couple minutes later. Let me check. Is 3.13, so five minutes later. The space that I came up from is over there. Now, I know it doesn't look like there's anything over there. That's because it's too steep to actually see. I mean, I can hold my camera level and look here. This isn't even the steep part. The steep part's down there. My legs, ah, oh, so sore even just from a couple minutes of climbing. You know that when you get so tired, like you work out your arms or your legs so hard that it's hard to even just stand on them? I'm at that point. And I'm only a third of the way there. My legs are very out of shape. But if you look how high I've climbed, I mean, that's the road I started on, way down there. And it's only been like, seven or eight minutes. That's a lot of elevation to climb in a short amount of time. And I stopped to record a video part way up and I'm stopping now, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get this cache, go back down, and then continue the ride. Well, let me see if I can actually show you the trail. Ugh, a little break is enough. Okay. There's, there's where it goes. See, it's, you can never see how steep things are on camera because 
you know, on camera, this thing could be, I could be holding the camera level right now, and it just looks like a straight trail, but level is actually about here. So you gotta think, this is looking straight ahead, straight ahead. tilt your head down that much. It's, it's still hard to see on camera. It's about 3.30 and you can see the dam over there is much smaller. You can see all these hills. And this is my hill. I've still got a little ways to go. About 500 feet to get to the top. Uh, uh, tired. So anyway, there's a road down there. Can't even see where my bike is anymore. But uh, I met some people coming up here and was warned that there are some rattlesnakes around. So yeah, we're gonna watch out for them, find the cache, get back down. 343, I've made it to the summit. As you can see, I'm standing on this rock. Which is the highest point? Maybe over there is higher. I don't care. I'm high enough. There's a dam over there. All these mountains. All around me. Nice view. Look at all those hills. Anyway, I gotta go find the cache. It should be somewhere. Somewhere right around here, in these rocks, in this bush, I don't know. I was warned of the rattlesnakes, so I'm, I am being cautious, and hopefully I can find it without much trouble. Found it. Yes. Found it way up here on top of this hill. It was in this bush. Oh, don't look. Haha. <laughs> no, I don't know if anybody who follows me will ever come up here on YouTube. Anybody who watches my videos on YouTube? No. I don't think you'll ever come up here. Out of the 3,000 of you, not one. Well, maybe, maybe one. Maybe one. Okay, I need to go back down. See you later. I'll take you guys hiking with me. Just because I don't really do that. I, uh, I turn the camera off hike for a while, when I stop to take a break, I pull the camera out. You never get to actually see the journey, you only see the, uh, the resting points. So I'll let you see this journey. Maybe not the whole way, because, you know, it might take half an hour, and I don't know if anybody would want to watch that. But if you would, if you would like to watch an entire half hour of me walking on a dirt trail, you know, uh, leave a comment saying that you would like that, and if I get a few and there seems to be some interest, uh, I might just start carrying a camera recording while I'm hiking all the time. If you would not like to hear my voice the entire time, leave that in a comment as well, because, I don't know, maybe you want to hear the sounds of nature, and I'm just messing up. Hey look, I'll listen. Hello, little lizard. That's from a uh, lizard. There he goes. All right, let's continue. It's so hard not not to like run down this. You uh. Put a lot of back pressure to try and prevent yourself from falling down the hill. It's pretty steep. I bet I'm gonna get down quicker than I got up because gravity is now on my side. It's probably gonna be really shaky because I'm trying really hard to uh, slow myself. And it's rough terrain, 
jumping around. Oh, that was like a trick. Something like that. Oh. Well, anyway, that's enough. Now, I'm gonna put the camera away. Took 45 minutes to get up. Looked for the cache for a little while, took a rest, started back down at four. So I spent about 15 minutes there. 20 minutes later, I'm back at the gate. Took me half as long to get down than it did to get up, which I am thankful for. Uh, it's gonna be hard to shift with my legs because my, my calves hurt and my ankle muscles are sore, so shifting is gonna be awkward, but oh well, we'll try it. Yay, back to the bike. Now it's time to continue riding. Except my helmet's gonna be like an oven. Okay, turn her on. Make sure you got your green neutral light. Don't touch the bottom. There's no choke. Just fire it up. 